Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing well this morning. You know, the Bible helps us in so many ways and challenges us in so many ways. And one of the things that's very important for us today in 2013 is to ask the question, are we serving the same God that Abraham served? Are we serving the same God of Israel that was world known? Now, I know that we are aware intellectually of the God of Abraham. And I know that we are aware of Israel and how that we're supposed to support Israel and stand behind them. But let me ask you personally, do you believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Do you believe of the miracles that God performed in the Bible? Do you believe in his son, Jesus Christ, that walked the earth, that raised the dead, that healed the sick, that cured leprosy? You see, one of the things that's important for us to understand is well, the sky is still high, and the ground is still under our feet, and the wind still blows. The sun comes up, and then the moon comes up. God still controls the rainfall, and God still speaks things into existence. He is all-sufficient. He is everywhere all the time, and He loves you. And you are just as available for miracles today as those that walked in the days of Moses and those that walked in the days of Jesus. The same God is over all and in all and through all. And you today could just get your miracle if you believed and trusted God. Now, you say, hang on, uh, Brother Rocky, that sounds just like one of those TV preachers that's promising us all sorts of things if we send money or whatever. No, friend, not at all. Not at all. Because the miracle that you need today is God's will in your life. And God's will in your life today may be wait. It may be that you need to go through the thing that you're going through that God will give you strength. That doesn't mean that it's not a miracle. It doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. In fact, it's just the opposite. It is a miracle. It is a miracle that you go through some difficult things that when you get on the outside and look back, you don't understand how you made it through. But it's just the grace of God. It's not the fact that everything you ask for in prayer you get because everything you ask for in most cases is not good for you. But God wants to give you not what is good for you, but God wants to give you what is best for you. So asking, believing is important. Miracles are not just physical miracles. They're not just spiritual miracles. They can be future miracles. God setting the table for you for something down the road. But you have to go through what you're going through to get there. You see, God wants to develop us in character and courage that we might go forward and complete His will. And He has a desire for each of our hearts. He wants to help us. He desires to help us. He is available to help us if we will let Him help us. But when we begin to rationalize and we begin to count out in our thought processes how that God ought to do this and how God ought to do that, well, we lose immediately. Because the Bible is very clear in Isaiah, God said, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. So, you say, what I do then? Well, you turn right and you keep straight. You do the next thing right. The challenges that you have in your life, if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have the comforter, you have the one that will guide you and lead you. So, you and I must do the next thing right. Do the right thing. Whatever decisions you have to make, do the right thing. And when you do the right thing, God can help you as he blesses you to get you where you need to be. You see, so many people throw in the towel because they ask the Lord something. And we are taught in Matthew uh, chapter 7, verse 7, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. But it goes right in the same passage that the Lord says that he will provide what you need. He asks us to ask. He asks us to seek. He asks us to knock. And he will give what we need. You see, some people get discouraged because when they ask, they don't get it. When they seek, they can't find it. When they knock, they can't find the door to open. 
But see, that's God's business. That's God's side. That doesn't mean that I stop or quit or give up. No, no, no. What it does mean, however, is that I do everything that I know and believe to be right, and I am faithful, and I endure, and I press on, and I encourage my brethren, and then God, as God sees fit, will give me what I need, when I need, the way I need, anything and everything in my life. The God of Abraham lacks not. The God of Moses lacks not. David's God lacks nothing. Jesus Christ, still King and Master. Holy Spirit, still the Comforter. You have the ability today to see the awesome power of God in your life work. It could be to wait, it could be to witness, it could be to engage power. I don't know. What I do know is this. He will not hold, withhold any good thing from you. He will give you what you need today. All he asks is to turn right and keep straight. And God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.